The 2005 Buick LaCrosse is an all-new front-wheel drive sedan that with its totally fresh and contemporary styling, smooth, powerful engines, and outstanding ride and handling is going to reshape the premium sedan class. Still, the LaCrosse enters one of the most competitive markets in all of the automotive industry with many top draw rivals. Among those is the Toyota Camry, the best-selling car in America. The Camry is available in a wide variety of trim levels, with the top XLE the most competitive against the Buick LaCrosse. But even the Camry XLE lacks some of the basic equipment of the Buick LaCrosse. The XLE comes standard with a 2.4-liter, 157-horsepower, four-cylinder engine. That's over 20% less power than the 200 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 that is standard in the LaCrosse CX and CXL. And 35% less powerful than the twin cam 240 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 included on the LaCrosse CXS. Even the Camry's optional 3.3 liter V6 is rated 15 horsepower less than the LaCrosse 3.6 liter V6. Putting that power to the pavement are 16-inch wheels on the Camry XLE. Lesser Camrys have 15-inch wheels. 16-inch wheels are standard on the LaCrosse CX and CXL, with 17-inch wheels standard on the CXS. Also, the alloy wheels on the CXL and CXS are the latest flangeless design that gives the tire and wheel package a more stylish appearance. Bigger wheels also mean putting a larger tire patch on the road for superior handling ability. Yet thanks to quiet tuning technology and a longer wheelbase, the handling agility of the LaCrosse is accompanied by a superb, smooth, almost silent luxury car ride. Quiet tuning is exclusive to Buick and takes a holistic approach that attacks noise and vibration on three levels by reducing, blocking and absorbing noise. Some of the materials used on LaCrosse can't be found on any of its competitors. Quiet steel, for example, is used in the front of the dash to block and absorb engine noise. Special laminated glass in the windshield and side windows help reduce wind noise to the kind of levels associated with luxury cars. And you'll see a special Helmholtz resonator that actually alters the path of the exhaust to make it quieter. Both the LaCrosse CXS and Camry XLE four-cylinder are safe cars that include all-disc anti-lock brakes. Traction control is standard on the CXS, while Stabilitrax stability control is optional. You have to order the Camry XLE with a V6 engine in order to add stability control. Like the LaCrosse, all Camry models can be ordered with side curtain airbags. That luxury theme is continued inside the LaCrosse in both five passenger and with the available front split bench seat six passenger configurations. The Camry is a five passenger sedan only. Both LaCrosse CXS and Camry XLE include a tasteful amount of chrome accents and wood tone interior trim. But premium nuanced leather upholstery with rich gathered stitching is standard in LaCrosse CXL and CXS. Leather is an option on the Camry XLE. Also, Buick continues to be a leader in offering the comfort and flexibility of dual zone climate control. It's standard on LaCrosse CXL and CXS. Dual zone climate control is not available on any model of the Toyota Camry. You can make a strong case that one reason the Camry sells so well is the quality reputation of the Toyota brand. But year after year, Buick also ranks in the top tier of durability and customer satisfaction surveys. Now, with the LaCrosse, you have a superior offering that simply outpaces Camry and the rest of the mid-size sedan class in style, luxury, and performance. One of the newest and most talked about premium sedans for 2005 is the Chrysler 300. This car marks a return to classic Detroit styling and rear-wheel drive for Chrysler. The 2005 Buick LaCrosse and the Chrysler 300 couldn't be more different in appearance. The 300 uses many of the styling cues popular on family cars during the 1960s. The LaCrosse, on the other hand, looks to the future with a sleek shape that defies being easily dated. 
While Chrysler claims rear-wheel drive provides more precise handling, they have to add traction and electronic stability control to match the all-weather driving security of every front-wheel drive Buick LaCrosse. True, the 300 is also available with all-wheel drive, but the front-drive LaCrosse also provides increased all-weather security with less complexity when equipped with its electronic traction control system. Traction control is standard on LaCrosse CXS and optional on the CX and CXL. This Chrysler 300 Touring is the middle level trim model. With a 250 horsepower V6, it's destined to be their volume leader. While that engine does have more horsepower than either V6 engine available in the LaCrosse, keep in mind that the 300 has a curb weight that is hundreds of pounds higher than LaCrosse. Nothing compromises quick throttle response like too much weight. Both the 300 and LaCrosse have large, well-appointed interiors. Although once seated, the low roof styling and short side glass make the 300 seem more claustrophobic. In reality, the LaCrosse does have more front leg and headroom than the 300. Plus, six-passenger seating available on LaCrosse is not available on the Chrysler 300. Both cars are well equipped with power windows, mirrors and locks, but the mid-level 300 Touring lacks some of the key premium standard amenities of the comparable LaCrosse CXL, such as dual zone climate control and driver information center. When it comes to inflatable restraints, all trim levels of the LaCrosse and the 300 can be ordered with side curtain airbags. The 2005 Buick LaCrosse is a totally modern premium sedan. The Chrysler 300 may be bold, but with its in-your-face styling and rear-wheel drivetrain layout, it may not easily stand the test of time. The Honda Accord is among the most popular and most common of front-drive family sedans. It is well regarded for its quality and interior packaging. However, Honda is not a car company known for progressive styling. The Accord, while handsome, sets no new trends and turns even fewer heads. It really is a generic sedan. The new Buick LaCrosse, on the other hand, sets a striking progressive pose. Its tunneled headlights and chrome waterfall grille invoke a sporting European flair that is truly distinctive and great looking. The Accord is smaller than LaCrosse, both in wheelbase and length, and has a smaller trunk. Plus, the Accord is a five-passenger sedan only. It does not offer optional six-passenger seating available on LaCrosse. While the Accord is available in several trim levels, top models include the EX with leather, EXL four-cylinder, and the EX V6. The EXL is roughly comparable to the Buick LaCrosse CXL. While both cars are well equipped and have leather upholstery, they differ greatly under the hood. The EXL's 2.4 liter four cylinder is rated at only 160 horsepower, or 40 less than the 200 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 that powers the LaCrosse CXL. But the CXL's V6 is not only more powerful than the Accord four-cylinder, it is smoother and quieter under hard acceleration. That, along with quiet tuning chassis engineering, cements the premium status of the LaCrosse. The EX V6 solves many of the Accord's NVH problems. It is a smooth engine that, like the 3.6 liter V6 standard in the LaCrosse CXS, uses variable valve timing. Both engines have 240 horsepower ratings, but the LaCrosse V6 delivers more torque or pulling power, 225 pound-feet compared to 212 for the Honda. Plus, the LaCrosse V6 reaches its peak torque at only 2,000 RPM. That's perfect for kick-down passing. The Honda V6 must be revved to a much higher 5,000 RPM for peak torque. The Accord Automatic is a five-speed, while the LaCrosse uses a four-speed. You'll also feel a difference in ride between LaCrosse and Accord. Accord's ride quality is more harsh, while LaCrosse's is smooth yet controlled, the mark of a true premium ride. And unlike Accord or any of its competitors, LaCrosse offers two suspension systems, the premium ride system used on CX and CXL and the more performance-oriented sport-tuned suspension that's standard on CSX. When it comes to safety equipment, Buick allows buyers to select the level of safety that gives them the most peace of mind. 
to that end, the LaCrosse CX and CXL are available with anti-lock brakes, traction control, and side curtain airbags. The LaCrosse CXS includes standard anti-lock brakes and full range traction control, but leaves the choice of side curtain airbags to the buyer. Honda limits the most advanced safety equipment to specific trim levels and engines. While all models have anti-lock brakes, traction control is only included with a V6 engine. Side curtain airbags are only included and only available on the EXL and EXV6. Plus, while the LaCrosse CXS can be ordered with the Stabilitrack Stability Control System, no Accord can be fitted with this advanced safety system. Two more things. The popular rear parking assist system that helps detect objects while backing up, which is available on the LaCrosse CXL and CXS, is not available from the factory on any Honda Accord. The same is true of the remote starter. It's a factory installed system that works from up to an amazing 480 feet from the car. That's a little over one and a half football fields. The Honda Accord is a fine automotive appliance, but when compared to the 2005 Buick LaCrosse, it is less car in almost every respect. I'd like to leave you with a final word about Stabilitrack, available on the LaCrosse CXS. It's the same stability control system used on the Cadillac XLR, and it's not just a safety feature for wet and slippery roads. Stabilitrack also helps maintain control in all types of potential skid situations. Watch these two short videos from Bosch, the company that makes Stabilitrack. They show why it's a competitive advantage for lacrosse in all kinds of weather.